Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary, middle slash high school and high school age. We've just finished up our 12th year homeschooling. I'm planning year 13, lucky 13. And today I'm going to be talking all about teaching the upper level math and how we do it in our home. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified of all of my future videos. And if you're looking for more uh, support and encouragement and community, I would love for you to come over and check out my membership community. A link for that will be in the description box. And don't forget to watch all the way to the end as I talk about a fun giveaway that I'm doing. So let's get started. Okay guys, so it is spring 2023 right now and all I see everywhere is questions about what we are going to be using for homeschool curriculum for the coming year. And one of the places that I seem to get the most questions about is the upper level high school level math. And the other place is actually how to teach my kid to read. Uh, so two very opposite sides of the spectrum. But these are the things that I hear most often. How do I teach my kids upper level maths. Either you were not great at math in high school or you don't remember math in high school or you were good at math but you have trouble explaining the concepts to your kids because there are new inventive ways of doing all of the different maths available now. I kind of fall into that third category. I loved math growing up. I did advanced math in high school and in college. I was an accountant before, I was a mom and homeschooler, and so I do love all things math. However, I think around fourth grade, that was the point when I started to butt heads with my oldest on math and the math process. Not that fourth grade math is necessarily upper level math, but you know, when you're starting to do fractions and decimals and such, it can be a little bit more challenging to describe the process instead of just doing it and expecting it to be done by your student. And because of that, I knew that as we got into the upper level maths, I was going to have a problem trying to teach the upper level maths to my kids once they got into algebra and geometry, algebra two, all of those things. And so I was super excited several years ago to find teaching textbooks and to know that they go all the way through pre-calculus and high school, which is so super helpful to me, knowing that I do not have to think about that has been a big relief for me. So some of the reasons that we love teaching textbooks for the upper level maths uh, number one is the flexibility. I have talked at length about our hybrid process for my oldest and how we use teaching textbooks. Now, we have done this for several different reasons. Um, primarily, when she started doing Algebra 1 a couple of years ago, we were in the car a lot uh, throughout the day, and so we didn't have the opportunity to be at home on a computer to do the math. So it was wonderful to know that teaching textbooks books is now app based so you can use it on any device uh, that has internet and even if it doesn't have internet as long as you log in to Wi-Fi on that device uh, teaching textbooks will download the next six lessons onto the device so you can use it if you are not in a internet uh, area. Um, but one of the other ways that we have used teaching textbooks, especially in the upper level maths, is I will print out Emma's lesson for teaching textbooks, whatever she's working on for the day. She's able to follow along during the lecture and then do all of the problems on paper, which is what she prefers to do for herself. And then once she's done doing all of those problems on paper, she can easily enter them into the app and it will grade it for her. If she misses one, then it will give her a second chance. Or if she doesn't have a second chance opportunity, then she's able to go through and watch the solution and figure out why she got the problem wrong. So the fact that we're able to use it in that hybrid way has been one of the best parts about using teaching textbooks for my kids. Now, my middle guy, he'll be going into Algebra 1 next year, and he is a lefty, and so he prefers to do everything 
on the computer itself. He has a Wacom drawing tablet that he uses, and then he uses that in conjunction with the scratch pad that Teaching Textbooks has. So he can go from the problem to the scratch pad and back again, figuring out the answer that way. So I love that for my two very different learners, I can make the program work best for me. Now, another thing that I really love and I have talked about several times in other videos is that teaching textbooks has the opportunity for tutoring. Now, if your student is struggling with a particular lesson, um, a particular problem in a lesson, you can call their customer service explain to them which lesson, which problem they're struggling with, and they will schedule a callback with, uh, with your student so that they can walk through that problem, that process, that concept with your student and help them through that. Now, I think that that is an amazing benefit, especially for the upper level maths, because you are going to get to a point when there is a question and you don't know how to answer that question. And no matter how many times you go through the lecture, it may not click for your student and that's okay. So having the ability for that tutoring, for somebody to call you back and walk your student through that, um, that concept I think is an amazing, amazing service that Teaching Textbooks offers. It is free. It is for all of their levels. It's not just the upper level math, but for the upper level math, I see the real value in it because um, that's going to be the point when the parent maybe can't answer the question, maybe can't figure it out from reading the notes and um, watching the video themselves. So having that option is one of the biggest benefits and biggest reasons that I keep coming to teaching textbooks year after year for the upper level maths. Now, another part that I really like about teaching textbooks is that they have extra worksheets for both pre-algebra and algebra one. It's only for those two levels, but I think having those extra worksheets, we use them them, um, with Emma. We use them some of the time with Jack. Having those extra worksheets really built a strong foundation in algebra, which I believe is going to help my kids as they continue through the high school level maths. Having that firm foundation, understanding those algebraic equations and how to figure out things that way is very, very important. Just understanding that entire process so that as they move through the upper level maths, they can lean on what they've learned before. Um, I think that that's a really strong benefit for teaching textbooks. Now you do not have to use those. Those are an extra add-in that if your student is excelling with uh, algebra or pre-algebra and you don't feel like they need it, great, you don't need to use it. But if you want your child to have a little bit extra practice, there are extra problems for each lesson um, for both pre-algebra and algebra one. So it may not be that you use them for every lesson. We didn't use them for every lesson, but there were definitely some lessons where I wanted to see my kids have a little bit extra practice. And so having that Having those extra worksheets was very helpful. There are going to be weeks throughout the year that you are going to struggle with all of your subjects. It's not just going to be smooth sailing all the way through. So because teaching textbooks offers so many different ways to use the program to teach your child, I think that you're able, at least I am able, to adjust how we're using the program based on what my kids' needs are in the moment. If Emma is going through geometry and she really understands the process and the different concepts that they're going through, she can speed right through it on the computer without having to do anything on paper but if it's uh, coming to a point where she really needs to be on paper and work out the solutions to the problems having that opportunity to switch things up I think it gives you enough uh, flexibility to feel like you are changing up your math curriculum even though you're not using a different curriculum. I think having the opportunity to switch things up keeps things new and engaging for your kids, especially in the upper level maths. It's just a different way of learning and 
I, I just love how I'm able to take this kind of hybrid approach with teaching textbooks, whether we want to do it all online, whether we want to do it all on paper, whether we want to do uh, back and forth, a little bit of both. All of those possibilities have been super helpful for my kids. Now, thinking about upper level maths, we want our kids to have a firm foundation in math as they move through high school and think about what they are going to do after high school, whether it's college or trade school or the military or whatnot. And I really do feel like teaching textbooks gives such a great education. The way that they explain things is very easy. They give real world examples. I love that throughout the geometry program, there is a bunch of SAT prep. There are so many benefits for using teaching textbooks and the upper level maths. And I'm really thankful that I've found this program and that it works so well for my kids. It's just been a really great program and a great fit for us. Now, I do want to let you know that I am running a giveaway for a full year level of teaching textbooks. You get to choose. You get to choose your start date, all of those things. And I will have a link to the corresponding blog post in the description box where you can come over and enter that giveaway. I want to thank Teaching Textbooks for offering this giveaway and for sponsoring this video today. If you have questions about anything that I talked about or you want more information about some of the specific benefits of using teaching textbooks, please let me know in the comments or you can email me. My contact form is always in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.